Hello Hasbro fans, this is Sephardus Destroyers back again with yet another Star Wars action figure review. This time taking a look at one of the vintage collection figures from late last year. This is the Old Republic Trooper from, you guessed it, the Star Wars The Old Republic video game. It was one of the three figures released for The Old Republic video game and from what Hasbro has said the three we've gotten so far will be the only three from that game we ever get. So um, basically I have all, f I actually have all three now. So yeah, I don't have to worry about you know trying to get those three because you know they are pretty rare figures. You know Darth Malga, Shay Vessel, and this figure. You know they are pretty expensive, and you know I have them f those three. So the hunt is over. They're actually. I've had this figure for several months. I think um, I got it for Christmas or something. Um, so it's not like I only just found it. You know, I've been waiting to review this one for a while now. I mean, that's basically with what's been going on. You know, school and all that. You know, it's been hard to like do reviews and videos and stuff. Um, so like most of them, I've had to wait a while, and this one has had to wait longer than most. And I've been wanting to do this review for a while so I'm glad I finally can. Now we will take a look at the packaging first. You have a great back image of um artwork image I should say of the Republic Trooper kinda of logo down there. And yeah really cool and up there it says Republic Trooper the old Republic. So yeah and basically get the shitty European packaging on the back and nothing to see there, blah blah blah. So um, moving right on to the figure, there's a very well detailed and well accessorized figure. Um, I'll just zoom in on the helmet. Yeah, there is a lot of great detail in the helmet. You know, the Republic Troopers. Um, you now I watched them um, the 15 minute long trailer kind of thing, or a mixture of um, several different trailers. And this character does show up in it. He's actually got um, a name, actually. Um, I think this is based on the Jace Malcolm character. In fact, I believe it is. I think this is just a generic one with removable helmet. I think it is actually Jace Malcolm. But, um, you know, it's a really cool figure. I really like the helmet design for the Old Republic Troopers in the video game, you know. Just a really great design. Um, back of the helmet is a bit plain, though. But yeah, otherwise it's really great. And uh, like with a lot of trooper characters these days, you know, like clone troopers in the Clone Wars animated series, you know, the troopers have got to have a big gun. And you know, I could, this gun is like really huge. I can barely, you know, fit onto the whole, you know, camera screen. In fact, I'm quite surprised I can manage that to be honest. So um, now it is a it is a really cool weapon. Um, not sure if the weapon has a name. Um. I'm not too sure as well if it's like a mini gun, like the Z6 Rotary Cannon, or if it's like a rocket launcher kind of weapon, but um, it just looks insanely cool, I'll tell you that much. But um, you know, it's really cool. It is a bit difficult to get the figure to hold it. In fact, today was the first day I managed to get him to hold it with both hands. Like, only like 10 minutes before the video, I was just like, right, I'm going to review this figure finally, and then spent the next several minutes or. More, more than several, like 10 to 15 minutes, just getting him to hold this gun. So, you no, know, it's a really cool weapon. Yeah, I really like the design. It, I think it curved off a bit more coloring. I mean, it's just all one color. I think with some other colors, it might have looked even more, you know, epic. No, it's still really cool, and I'll take it out of the figure's hands for a moment and put the figure aside. Um, see, so yeah, there's the gun. You know, there's the handles. It's better to um, put this handle in this hand and this handle here in the other hand. Um, I think that's how it works best with a figure, in my opinion. Um, I'm not really sure if that's how the artwork showed it. I believe the artwork had it the other way around, but um, it just seemed easier to have it the other way I posed the figure there. So, But yeah, really cool gun. Really like um it does come with another couple of accessories as well, which as you can see I've got displayed in his holsters. Um 
And this horse over right here has an obsession of falling backwards, I'll tell you that. Um, but, um, the other one is kind of, is a dagger of sorts or a knife, I'm not really sure if there's an exact name. But, um, it's pretty interesting, um, could have its uses, that's got a fairly nice design. Again, all the same colour though, I mean, all three of his guns he comes with actually all just the same colour, no additional colouring, so um, yeah, that's not, it's not all a complaint, you know, they're still really cool weapons, but, you know, some more, uh, some more colours might have made it more interesting, or even more epic, to repeat myself in that sense, um, he also, um, comes with this, um, kind of pistol, I guess, um, Kinda looks like a rapid fire pistol kind of weapon, I don't know. Um does look really cool though. Yeah, really like this gun as well. Uh, just those three weapons, you know, they're really cool. Um could have their uses for my stop motion I think. But we'll see. As I make more stop motion plans of course. Um the figure itself, I'll just give you a look at the face got now. I'm fairly sure this is Jason Malcolm before he got scared when fighting Darth Malgus, I believe. Hand watched those trailers in a while, so I may be wrong, but um, now I really like the head sculpt, it's very well detailed. Also there's a scar, I guess it is, um here, like a white scar, very interesting. Um, but yeah, I really like the head sculpt on this figure, has really did a great job on it. Really cool. Just the detail itself all over the figure with all the, you know, markings and all and all the details as well. I really like this um Paul drawn, I guess you could call it right here. It, that's really cool. And an ammunition belt there. And holsters, of course, as I pointed out earlier, and you know, all the markings, you know, there's just so much detail on this figure. A comlink too, I believe, there. In fact, is that a comlink as well? No, I don't think it is, but you know, it's just so many different things to see on this figure, and of course there's um logo here, I think Havoc Squad or something, or... I don't know, no. Havoc um, is the name of the troopers, isn't it? I'm I'm not much of an Old Republic expert, well, the video game, um... You know, there's just so many markings to see on this figure, it's quite unreal, you know. Just how much, you know, detail and all the markings that went to this figure, you know. It's just really cool to see. Um, so yeah, definitely a really cool figure, um... Now it comes with three great accessories, um, and the you know pistol and the knife. Um, yeah, detail as well. So you know, got great detail and accessories. Can the articulation top that? Well, here we go. Ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist. I thought it might even be on a ball hinge actually. Maybe, maybe it is on the ball hinge, I don't know. Um, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, you know, excellent articulation. You know, there's really no fault with this figure. I mean, you can find minor nitpicks, maybe, if you're really that kind of person. Then, but really, overall, the, just the figure is absolutely amazing. I mean, just an amazing figure, and if I was to recommend one figure from the last wave of the Vintage Collection in 2012, it would definitely be this one. I also have the realistic Ahsoka from the Clone Wars, but I'm not really a fan of that figure. I like Ahsoka um, as a character, and I like the Clone Wars figures, but, you know, I just really actually just don't like the Vintage Collection realistic version. Um believe those are the only two figures I have from the last wave. Um, just I know any original trilogy fans watching this review would hate me for saying this. If it wasn't for the fact most of them have this figure, the this figure I'm about to mention already. But I see, even though most of the hype for the wave is going towards the Emperor's Royal Guard figure, which I admit is looks really cool. I'd love to own that figure someday, but I think this one just really is. Definitely a must have. I mean, we've seen Emperor's Royal Guards before, you know, this is a one of a kind, and probably will never have something similar released again, so it's just a really cool figure. Highly recommended. If you haven't picked it up yet, or if you haven't been able to, I recommend highly trying to find a way to get this figure. So, 10 out of 10 all the way for this figure, and Hasbro did a wonderful job on it. On this figure, 
So, hope you've enjoyed this review. May the forest be with you and happy hunting.